Hey Bethel Sundridge kids, how is everyone doing? Mrs. Jody here, it's been a long time. Just thought I would do a quick little object lesson for you guys. Your parents and the church, we are actually doing a big challenge so you can hold them accountable, but we also wanted to include you guys. So to help explain what we're doing, I thought I would do this. So we're actually doing what is called a 14 day prayer and fasting challenge. Now, if you've never heard about fasting, I'm sure you've heard about prayer when we're talking to God, but what is fasting? So to help explain a little bit about that, I got some stuff on my table here. So can anybody guess what it is? Can you tell? I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, well, we're gonna get started, okay? So this glass, let's have a look. Just a regular glass. But this glass is gonna represent you and me, okay? And sometimes in our lives, so this is our lives, sometimes in our lives, we get busy with things, right? We start, we start filling it with different things, like maybe friends, maybe some sports, or maybe, oh, I know, maybe some toys and some music, maybe some fun hobbies. Like, I don't know, do you guys play like hockey or maybe you go skating, uh, tobogganing, all kinds of fun stuff. But we fill it with different things. Maybe uh, talking on the phone. Uh, you guys don't talk on the phone now, do you? How about like a Zoom call or a FaceTime or video games? That's probably more your speed, right? Video games. And then we start filling it full of fun stuff, right? And then we've got... I don't know, we've got like some of our favorite toys and we get really, really busy and we're playing video games. We got our iPads, our tablets, mom and dad's phone, whatever we're doing. And we have got ourselves super busy. Look at that, look at how full that is. I don't think I can get any more in there. Well, guess what? It's pretty full, isn't it? And uh, now we wanna pour some water in there. Now this water, or it's not actually water, it's juice, so you can see it, it's gonna represent God, okay? So we're gonna pour some in our cup because remember, this is our lives. We wanna have some time for God. Uh-oh, what, we've got a problem, guys. Do you think that's gonna fit? Oh no, I'm gonna have a mess all over my desk, right? Oh goodness, now what happened? We filled our lives so full of stuff, and a lot of it was okay stuff, but guess what? We filled it so full that we didn't have any time for God. And that's where fasting can come in, because fasting is something that we learn about in the Bible, and many people actually do it today, and that's what we're doing as a big church. So all the church is doing this, and including your parents, so you get them involved in this too. And guess what? Sometimes what we need to do is we need to empty ourselves of all that busyness, all that busyness of, you know, the different things like, remember those the sports or maybe some of the video games we need to cut out a little bit. So you know what can happen? We can spend time letting God fill us up just like that, because we need to have that time with God filling us up. And when we put God first, he can fill us up so we can be full of God's love and be able to share and be a bright shining light to our friends and our family because everybody needs Jesus. And we can be, sometimes we're the only light of Jesus that some of our friends and family ever see or hear about. And you know what, when we're fasting and putting God first, it really helps us to depend on God for everything. So no matter what may come our way, we'll know that we can talk to God and he hears us. And it really helps to grow our faith and it helps us to get stronger in the Lord. It's so much fun. And this we can do with our families and our moms and dads. So we got to get rid of some of those distractions in our lives. That stuff that makes us super busy that we don't have time for God, right? Because just imagine if every single day we take the time and let God fill us up by reading our Bibles and praying. Now with the church, we're actually doing 14 day challenge. So we've got an idea every single day to give you an idea of what to pray for and who to pray for. So talk to your mom and dad and they can help you with this. And you know what, maybe it's just taking a second where you know normally that would be a video game or maybe it was a TV show that you would wanna watch or maybe you wanna take a step away from eating ice cream for a little bit. And you're like, you know what, Jesus, I'd rather spend time with you 
than eating that ice cream. And you know what you can do is say, okay, mom, dad, let's pray. And so instead of eating that ice cream or watching that TV show or maybe playing that video game, you take a moment and pray. Okay, just take a moment and pray and watch what God's going to do in your life and how he's going to speak to your heart and you hear his voice because you know what? When you start and listening, he's going to speak to you and do mighty, mighty things in your life. I am so excited to have each and every single one of you, my Bethel Sundridge kids, participating in this because you know what? This is not just for all the big kids, all those adults. No, this is for all of us because you know what? We are all called children of God. And this is a great time to learn more about God. So take that time and be reading your Bible and be praying. And if you can't think of what to pray and be thanking God for, ask mom and dad, because we've got this every single day, what we can do together as a big, big family, the family of God. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you want, take some time and pray and then go play with some Play-Doh. Okay. All right. Bye.